stream or to this specific case, Inky's quest of Carlos' campaign. In previous scenario, we basically wiped out all the local Mafok tribes and a ship that was just traveling through by the humans, which was supposed to be escorted by the Mafok. And uh, the, there was this one guy escaping once again. Uh, who this time also said that they were going to inform the humans and now we are chasing them so even if they inform so no no preferably so we can stop them from informing the humans so they don't escalate and if he informs the humans to stop the humans from escalating and hi inferno so yeah that, that's basically the story for now we also um, heard the human that we killed talk about some abominations haunting fort, uh, fort or the, uh, the, the fortress and appropriately the, the snare is called the haunted fort so let's just go the destruction of the human ship proved more trouble than Inky expected if the army of Wesnov were to counterattack then results could have been disastrous to our invertebrate friends Seahead and Inky therefore chased the ma'am and scout to a small human fortification that belonged to Sir Deidre, the superior to unfortunate Magister Theonic. However, the waters surrounding this castle hid more sinister force. Magister Theonic's ship is late, but I paid those ma'am to escort it. What could go wrong? Or what could have gone wrong? I bring horrible news. Magister Theonic and the whole crew of his ship were killed by sea monsters. We tried to protect them, but it was like those beasts were organized. It must have, it must have been re uh, the revenge of that leaf we banished from this island. I think we should ask the kingdom for reinforcements. And I'm gonna write down the typo right now. So yeah, this always breaks a bit immersion. Um, but I would rather break immersion than not report a typo. Being revenge, being the wench. We lost many of our people while being unable to fill our part of the deal. My kind will help you fight those abominations to restore our honor. Whoa. Cool. Cool story, bro. It looks bit like we are late. The land dwellers on this island know about our achievements. However, I cannot go on to on the dry land. Land, Lord. Land, land, that's funny. Um, my br brain is so big that it would collapse on its own wide. Wait. It's up to you and other younglings to kill the land dwellers before they summon reinforcements. Gah! Fortunately, there is an abandoned keep here that we can where we can rally our forces. How convenient! I feel the presence of mortals in our, uh, in our Lord's Keep. Lord Ravian won't be happy. Revenge! Death to all living! So much for convenient. But what are those things? They look like somebody has already eaten them. They are undead, corpses animated by magic. They are known for hatred to all life, so land dwellers on the continent might blame them for destruction of for the destruction destruction of this outpost if we don't let anybody escape anybody escape I've seen the fish people and the land wells using magic and now they are corpses animated by magic why don't we fit cuttlefish use magic actually we can did you think I was sleeping while you were fishing? I was studying the remains of those mermaids you slew earlier. I've reached two conclusions. First, they are yummy. Second, I've grasped the basics of their magic. You can recruit magic tenta tentacles now. However, infusing a tentacle with magic takes much concentration and makes a tentacle vulnerable. So don't expect using it for melee. So. The starting objectives for now is defeat all humans and mermen, or merfolk, and um, I lose if Inky dies, if Master Seer dies, if 
turns run out, if a human unit reaches the continent, which would be over here. So yeah, and there, ancient death, dead, uh, dead things. Uh, they have their own special tricks, which you're gonna learn about later. Like, not right now, uh, but you'll see. Like, and those, those guys have about 400 uh, gold together. I've got a bit more. Uh, but I don't intend to spend all of that. But let's get the loyal units first. That. Then, of course, magic tentacles. Basically, they cost a bit more than tentacles. Have no melee attack at all, but a ma stronger magic attack ranged. They can, of course, still regenerate. They are a bit less tanky and need more XP. And they have a heal plus four. The Mystic Tentacle, if I remember correctly, also has a heal plus 8 and uh, cures, so of course I wanna get them immediately. So this guy is uh, recruiting a lot of units. The good thing about land dwellers is um, I don't really care about them. I can totally ignore, I can um, just wait until they, they try to do anything and then just block them over here. I, they're just not a threat. The undead over there are a bit more annoying, but uh, also easily, it's also not really hard to deal with them because, well, they are going through deep water, meaning uh, they have 10% chance to dodge. Most of them are skeletons, so impact damage just destroys them, and I have a lot of impact damage, like a lot. And um, therefore, I am not worried about them. First of all, let's get some clamps, and I guess just cuttlefish as well. And it should be enough for now. Actually, let's let's get more magic tentacles because they're so useful. Mm. Like the only trouble, sort of fear is um, actually mermen. Uh, the only trouble here really is the the math book on the other side of the of the of the fort, because I am so slow on in, the, um, in shallow water, so it's gonna take forever and ever to actually cross over, especially with the undead uh, around, uh, like around in the sense of I do not actually want to fight them. And yeah, that's pretty much all. This is that is that about it. Uh, so for now I'm just gonna wait and I'm gonna, gonna let the undead and the, the humans and the merfolk fight each other and yeah, just uh, take up all the XP I can get. It shouldn't be too hard. But the next center is far dif more difficult. Right. See, uh, the, the skeletons all have submerged, which is why I do not actually see them while I travel in deep water. Now you can see the trick. Death cannot stop those who are already dead! See? And then they just turn into skeletons. Like in a version that's one level less. You see, because impact... Yeah, okay. At least uh, they, there's no problem with them doing this. Uh, they're like... They're not resistant to impact damage. They have negative resistance, but not so high that it actually applies to most of my cuttlefish. Uh, but at least uh, that means the low damage of the cuttlefish is not lowered even more. By now you should know that you cannot stop me! We'll see about that. Well, I guess you have stopped me. So yeah, that's exactly how it works. So I would like to get a couple of villages down there, so I'm gonna send this specific cuttlefish and let them do that. Also, uh, just for fun, okay it was worth a try, it didn't work, but it was worth a try I guess. And here's a healer, because they are likely to take damage there. 
So yeah, it's, it's, that's a nice thing. I can really just uh, go into a defensive position where if they attack me at all, they will have to um, go into shallow water. So I'm not gonna read it out any time uh, one of them dies. Because it will happen every time they fight, if any one of them dies. They, they also do have another special trick associated with them. You will see it. Like, not like this. Consider this the recruitment! And then you get a Ford Hound, a very weak version of, uh, of a ghost, a so called white. Actually. Oh, see, they have their own special um, description. This lost soul was punished with by punishment far worse than that. The undeath. Risen to false life, it still relieves memories of its death, yet is unable to deny orders of its new masters. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna suggest to the author, author to change the description of punished by punishment to uh, was punished by something far something far worse than death than death that would work as well right like that would sound way better i think like punished by something far worse yep that works and this guy is apparently not interested in fighting me, which makes sense considering how hard they would lose it in that fight. And I'm just gonna put those guys over here. And yeah. Yeah, this is good enough for me. So now it's also nighttime, so those guys are not gonna be able to deal a lot of damage. Okay, this looks interesting. I did not expect to um, for the attack to look like that, or to be honest. As if recruiting purple people to work on a haunted island was not enough, now they are being killed by those horrible things. I think I should increase their salaries or something. Nice, they are actually paying the money. I mean should but uh, I wasn't convinced uh, until now that they actually did okay yep this should be fine huh did they just get a lot of money they must have got a lot of money right now and nice I poisoned them all it's another nice thing about cuttlefish if you if they attacked on ranged uh, on ranged they are just gonna um, well mess you up And then, especially, um, especially computer units will uh, try to heal before they do anything else. To cure, that's the word. Nice! I see, but this means... Oh, I gotta point this out, like... Uh, actually, this was a plague attack, so technically the corpse should have been recruited as well, but it wasn't. Wait, did, did they just hit? Oh, come on, they actually attacked me. That's mean. Die. Okay, that did not quite work. Uh, whatever. First of all, poison this one as well. And this one. Poison them all. Also, attack this guy. Because why not? And poison this one as well. Or at least try to. Then those guys gotta be stopped right there. Like this, I guess. Yeah, that would work. Like what I... Damn it, the duelist has way, to this, uh, way too good at this. Like my problem with the duelist is obviously that 
they can just um, if I leave a spot open they can just walk through it and I don't want it I really want to keep them over there where they are very manageable Last, I no longer have to haunt his fort. So yeah, uh, there, there is a nice amount of uh, text and this of dialogues in this scenario. Fitting dialogues too, so that's also pretty nice. Stop attacking me! text oh right I was running in the background so I didn't notice this this happens this mess this situation doesn't look good I should send a messenger to the kingdom Renan at your command sir if I remember correctly you wanted to return to the continent you can do it now and tell the first military base you find to send some reinforcements just don't get yourself killed Yes, sir. Remember, Inky, we mustn't let any land dweller reach the mainland. Gah! I like the way you think, Gah. I have no idea what Gah said, so don't ask me. Okay, this is sort of awkward, actually. So I may have gone a little bit overboard with this like um, first of all I don't need to fight all of them like I really don't I can just sit back here and not do that and there's not nothing that they can do about it like this and then almost all of those units over there I just stuck and cannot do anything about it. Sure, at least lose a couple of villages, but that's it. And actually I would like to speed it up a little bit. Hey, there's another ancient, ancient dead. I wonder where that one came from. Like seriously. They're really not good at finishing enemies off. Okay, maybe they are better than I thought. This did work after all. So yeah, and because no one concentrates on wiping the undead out, they slowly but surely um, well, get the numbers to actually be a threat. But those guys are focused on me and they've got mostly pierce damage which is not great against uh, skeletons. So they're not really getting anywhere with that. So I kinda gotta keep this one safe. So I'm gonna move this guy, Inky, over here. Yep, that works for me. That does indeed work for me. Yep. I mean, I could just get more units and wipe the floor with them, but that would be kinda a waste of gold, I think. Like, what's. I've got a 40% carryover, uh, so I would like to do something with that.
So yeah, during uh, a daytime, the, even the Mafo can pull some things off. Um, but yeah, not at this point, not uh, with so many enemies. And mostly against the girls, because against the whites, to be precise, because the whites are just that weak. Shame. I was hoping to get it killed. Whatever. So I could get that village, but um, I'm actually gonna go over there because getting out of there will take forever and ever. And, and I think in the long run I will have more villages by going there. damage this is to a, a lot but not too much so I can ignore them as well hey they can't even take villages that's nice because this is shallow water and uh, ghost types are not exit are not fast in shallow water. so one good thing about whoa uh, one good thing about one good thing they are doing is uh, wiping out the higher level ones, so in the long run the enemies are far weaker indeed. Just right now it's not really diminishing the numbers. say uh, the guest have stopped them yet yeah, I did of course I did <sighs> they never stood a chance at least I don't think they did bye then remove those guys I don't want them here I want this to see this one gone, but this is just a walking corpse nurse, so really whatever. Okay, I really should have changed the order there, um, but too late for that. Anyway, it's looking good so far. So I Wiping out the Merfolk is the most is gonna be the most annoying part, because as I said, I have real trouble just getting over to the other side of the fort. And I think it's time to just wipe out the undead. Like, they were useful, but I don't think I'll need them any longer. Otherwise, I don't want to risk them anymore. Also, this is a Mystic Tentacle, and as I said, they can cure and they heal plus 8. So, pretty damn strong. Okay, okay, they could have expected that, I guess. Um, yeah, that works. That works as well. not fine with uh, missing this attack but it was also expected because 70% chance to dodge it. Right?
remember the tentacles uh, are chaotic so right now is the time I deal the most damage and I sure as hell want to take advantage of that. Okay, this was not too smart because this guy is right next to them and it's probably gonna hit me. And there might be a chance of them actually killing uh, my double tentacle over there and I would actually like to avoid that. So stop this one first, stop this one next hopefully and just keep grabbing villages down there. So the, the nice thing about this is uh, the low level ones get focus morph, get focused, uh, get focused uh, by the AI because well they are weaker which is a good reason to focus them. Meaning if a unit uh, is basically being downgraded because it uh, was defeated, it also gets uh, destroyed pretty fast actually, instead of it being dragged out forever and ever. So that's a good news. This was a waste of XP because I just um, gave way more XP to this unit than it needs to level up. Like I could have uh, used this on a different uh, unit far better. Because of course I want to uh, upgrade them. And for that, they need XP. And I feel like I'm all over the place right now. Well, anyway, I'm winning, so whatever. As I honestly still can't get over how the, the ranged attack of the magic and mystic tentacles looks. Actually, Eldritch Tentacle. Hmm? A nice word, I gotta say. Then this one and back up. Let's take them down, and also let's take those guys down soon as well. Snap. Okay, I've got good odds. Ooh, nice. So they were stopped indeed, and I'm gonna slip this one down. Mm yeah. I dared. Uh Ooh, that was. I had certainly underestimated how far that unit can move. Um, but what I was gonna say anyway is. I can by now declare that I've won this scenario. Okay, I only need to defeat this guy and an income of 15 gold per turn is nice, but not exactly enough when I have 17 units on the map. Poof. So let's look. Level with only two of them not being uh, level 2 or beyond. So yeah, I am feeling pretty confident about my chances right now. Especially with 15 turns left and... It is. It might be annoying to get over there, but the map isn't that big on... Uh, so, I'll be getting there done. I failed, but I know that will take my place. The kingdom of Westoff will now bow to you, full beast. The land dwellers on this island are all dead, but the merman could still warn land dwellers from 
form from form the mainland. Um, one moment, please. From the mainland. If we don't stop them, so the continued objectives are to defeat all merfolk. And I gotta point out again for them. I just gotta say it, it's multiple times. Okay, then. Villages and moving on to those guys. Okay, that was pretty damn unlucky. Like, uh, for that. For that map up there. Like, they had a 50% chance to dodge and they were just hit with everything. Not a single miss, so that's in certainly a lot of bad luck. Nice. Nice. Just gonna leave this one behind for now because there's really no need to feed them uh, more XP. And I have no need for this unit at the time. I guess those guys are just gonna collect villages over there. Fine. So this is gonna be a fight, it's gonna be for... It will go on forever. Uh, because, okay, it might actually... Yeah, like see, they, they will heal next turn and they will be set at 10 HP again and then the whole thing starts anew. I just don't have the ability to deal the size of damage to them. So let's load up this one. I tried. I really did. And here, like, this is slow. Like, the, the good thing about the cuttlefish is they are pretty fast as units. Um, so, even though the, the movement costs of, uh, on, on shallow water for them is 2, they actually can arrive in a decent amount of time. While the cuttlefish are just stuck with their fi only 5 movement points. So this fight is obviously just pointless. And there's that guy. So I'm actually gonna ignore them because I have no need to uh, send any of my units over there. But of course, actually, no, I'm just gonna kill them. Like, why do they, should I bother keeping them alive, to be honest? I don't know. That was a hit. Nice. This guy is obviously not getting bad to his key. Shame. Okay. Actually, this one is in danger now because technically this one can he kill them if they hit every single thing. Um, which is why I'm now gonna make them run away. So, for killing this unit over here, I will probably need uh, my Mystic Tentacles over here. Because they have got a 70% chance to dodge there. So, actually killing them is not easy. Or rather, actually hitting them is not easy and therefore also killing them. So, give this one the XP. So, and this gives me another cuttlefish, I guess. This one is strong, so uh, they actually uh, profit from the uh, resistances of the undead, of the skeletons. So I would like this one preferably to get a kill, but no guarantees. I did it. I failed, Megata. I failed the rest of my kin. I failed Sir Deirdre. I failed everybody. Gah! Our mission here is complete. We re can return home now. Gah! Do you think you can break into my fortress unpunished, you semi -intellig intelligent mollusk? Who are you and what do you mean by semi-intelligent? If you were fully intelligent, you wouldn't have killed all those people in the domain of Fravian the League, Lord. Look, Inky. He's raising all those land you've slain. 
We should retreat before I finish, he said. I've emerged victorious and I'm going with 460 gold on top of the minimum, uh, defined minimum starting gold. And for the next year, I do think I will actually need it. Or at least some of it. For now, thanks for watching and I think probably only Inferno this time. Uh, but see you next time. Yeah. Only 35 minutes. Nice. And as I said, see you next time.